So what would you say is one thing that you learned as we wrote this book about the Psalms? Yeah, I, th I think the major thing I learned was not a new thing, but it clarified an old thing in a really big new way for me. We quote in the book um, the old English professor from, I think, Rutgers, John Chiardi, who said, a poem is not a what, it's a how. That is, a poem doesn't express meaning, it rather, it is the expression itself. Well, if that's true, if a poem is not a what, then you don't ask, what does it mean? If it's a how, you ask, how do I use this? And there are, so then the challenge is, how do I become equipped so that I can use and express these psalms so that they come to express what I express, they, and, and I use them to express. Um, it, the challenge then is to equip students to enter the psalms, as, which is a metaphor we keep using. What about you? Big, one big new thing or clarification? Yeah, I guess when we were working on the, the metaphor piece, uh, and, and also the sort of the identity of the, the speaker in the psalm, I think there's something going on there that's really interesting. I've, I always thought of metaphor in a simple way, right? Um, the Lord is a rock, or in Psalm 78, the Lord is a drunken warrior who waits, wakes up to fight. Um, but I think there's a lot more to metaphor than just simply what gets said. There's also the perception of the hearer of the metaphor. And if you're gonna understand it, you have to uh, take into account both the author of the metaphor, but also the person who is then experiencing it. And so, sort of the depth of how metaphor means, not what it means, right, kind of, as you were saying. Yeah, how it means. But, but how it means is really um, much deeper for me now than it was.